probably roughly about one and a half shallots each. Just gonna dump that in there. You don't have to mince it as small as I did. Just mincing things that small, you can extract more flavor that way. You know, you can slice rings. You know, that's all right. And put about one bay leaf in there. I think you're going off the. Are we off road? We're on Bernays sauce. Yeah, but we just got to get that going. You know, that's every stage, bay leaf. The bay leaf. Just one bay leaf. Doesn't say that. You need a pen? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you all my secrets. I thought we were going off road here. We're going off road here. And, 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 and I will tell you, there'll be some other corrections because I did make some corrections. Yeah, okay. All right. So, so you added a bay leaf? So I added a bay leaf. All right. I got, uh, I think it was a tablespoon. Of um, peppercorns or two tablespoons of peppercorns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, put them in there. just kind of sprinkle that in there. You put them in whole? Yeah. Nope. Oh, just put them in whole. Sure. Now, what if you don't like tarragon? Um, you skip it? Well, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't be a Bernays sauce. But you don't need to put it in there. You can just do a regular hot sauce. It's got lemon juice. I'm going back to my house. Just fall on my face. I bet you you won't. You won't it's just a little bit. Tarragon is pretty strong, strong herb. I'm trying to. Yeah. How do you put the bunch? Yeah, if I had to say a bunch, it would probably be. What you buy a That is for a little bit more than a scrub. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it'll come, come in one bundle. That's what you, that's what you use. Yeah. One thing, you know, I want to, I want to stress to you too the fact that re recipes are a reference guide. Once you understand the techniques, and which really is the majority of what cooking is all about, is the proper technique for the proper proteins. You know, once you figure that out and you can do that correctly, cooking is like that's like eighty-five percent of it. You know, I used to tell my cooks that the other 20 percent was common sense. So now, where did you? Me, I trained in Western Culinary Institute out in Portland, Oregon. I was an executive chef in Portland, Oregon there um, for an embassy suite in this hotel. Um, moved to Vermont because me and my wife decided that we wanted to raise our daughter in the middle of nowhere. Well, my wife grew up here. And after, after 156 inches of snow, uh, <laughs> My wife was like, you know, I'm from Buffalo. Yeah, you came lot. back. You're these, come these back. people plot. All right, all right. All right. All right. Now I know why you're here. Okay. So I grew, I grew up in New York State. I have I have had a bachelor's degree in anthropology, and I always had cooking jobs kind of throughout high school. Actually, the first job I ever had when I was 16 years old, I was a short order cook at a Woolworths restaurant. Oh my oh God. God. Wow. I know, I'm dating myself. Gourmet. I Does that really mean the Bernays sauce? I just remember a couple of things. I always used to get yelled at by the old ladies because I put too much bacon on people's sandwiches. <laughs> And then I, I, re I remember this guy, Fred, who was the other short order cook. He was this tall, lanky guy. He smoked these like Saratoga 120s. Oh, that's illegal. Wait a minute. Is that tall? Is there an issue here with height? No. And, 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 and this was back in the day when you were able to smoke like in the restaurant. So he'd just like walk from around the counter and just sit on the counter. And I swear, he could go through five orders. That thing would still be a normal size. Is it there to fall in? Those are the only things I remember. That one was a